Hi Atari friends, in this video I would like to show you an external memory upgrade for the Atari XE machine. It is made by Citrat Furter from Prague in the Czech Republic, sold for about $60. It connects to the Atari cartridge and ECI port and it upgrades the machine to 320K or 556K. It has a cartridge slot that allows you to connect cartridges vertically on the Atari XE. It has three LEDs on the front, one that shows that the device is on. The second LED shows that basic is enabled or disabled. And the third LED shows if the extra banks, memory banks are being accessed. On the back of the upgrade, you can see that there is dip switches that allows you to configure the memory upgrade to either 128K or 320K or 756K. And it also allows you to disable the memory upgrade so the machine will work with the, uh, its own internal memory. There is also an audio port because this upgrade also has the Covox audio upgrade that allows you to play digitized audio at 8-bit resolution instead of the standard 4-bit resolution of the Atari Pokey chip. And we will demonstrate it as well. So to connect the memory upgrade, I have here a 130XE. The upgrade can be connected also to the European 800XE or to the 65XE that has the ECI port. Just plug it to the back of the machine. No soldiering is required. And you have now half a meg of memory onto your, in, into your Atari computer. Let's plug the power. That's the power and the monitor and the SIO that is connected to the SIO um, to PC and let's boot the machine let's run the fast version of the XDOS Okay, so we have here a tool that's called MemTest, Memory Test. And it shows the, the tool detected that I have 576 kilobytes of memory in my machine. It can be addressed by accessing 3260K banks at port D301. So the software that uses extra memory uh, if they're intelligent enough, they can automatically detect the extra memory and uh, make use of it. If I, if I will unplug the, the memory, just get the memory out and let's try a uh, running mem test. Without the extra memory, so you see that the software detected that I only have 128K, that's the standard memory of the 130XE uh, machine. So let's put back the uh, software and let's connect the audio as well. Now I have here two speakers that will be connected to the audio port of the uh, memory upgrade. And let's run a, a short demonstration that will show you the um, audio capabilities. So let's mount the demo. And let's load XL digit. So a menu will be 
starting in a, in a minute with the XL Digital sampling, voice sampling introduction. So we have here like six tunes that can be played with the standard Pokey at mono uh, mode or I can switch to the Covox that is being set to address D600, that's where the uh, address of the external Covox has been set to and let's load the sixth tune. Okay, and you can see that now the uh, tune is being loaded from the SIO to PC or from a disk drive. Okay. And now you can listen to the audio played through the Covox interface inside the memory upgrade. Excellent quality. Switch off the speakers and you can listen to the same audio from the monitor, but the digitized audio is only played at 4 bit sampling, so the quality is less, a little bit less. Okay, so that's the that's the memory upgrade. Very nice and very easy to use. No soldering required. Just plug and play. And I'm going to try and uh, load a, mem a demo here that uses uh, the extra memory. So we can see what the extra memory can give us. Okay, so let's uh, start the demo. And now it's going to load the entire extra memory banks with the data of the demo. It's like a Kung Fu movie in pixel art.
the demo will zoom in now with slow motion. matrix effect well that's it that's the memory upgrade as you can see connects very easily to the Atari no soldering required and if you need more than 128k to run those nice demos and software you can use this adapter that's all for now thank you for watching